Hello everyone, welcome back for a brand new TIFF 2019 interview. Super psyched to be sitting with the team behind Sweetness in the Belly. First off, huge congratulations on the movie. I do have to trouble one of you to do this. Anybody can jump in. For anybody out there who does not know what Sweetness in the Belly is, can you give a brief synopsis of the movie? Right. Yeah, no, look <laughs> at that man. Okay. I had a feeling that would happen. Me. Uh, no, it's, it's a light <laughs> comedy. Three cameras. Um. <laughs> No, it's um, uh, Sweetness in the Belly is, is, um, is a drama, not a light comedy, uh, based on a book by Camilla Gibb of the same name. Uh, and it's uh, a story about a young girl who was uh, abandoned in Africa when she was seven years old and, and was brought up by a Sufi uh, uh, imam who um, became that father figure to her. And then she goes on to uh, you know, experience love and loss uh, and it's a uh, time where Ethiopia was going through a, a massive um, transformation in the 1970s and um, her life afterwards in, in England and, and trying to find the, the, the home that she lost. So second feature film for you, yes. great success with the first. And I know everybody out there, it's always like all the pressure on the sophomore effort. So what was it about this particular story that made you say this is the right one to do next? Well, to be honest with you, how timely it was. Even though it was set in the 1970s, the, the, the material itself speaks so loudly about what is happening in the world today. So that was at the center of it. And, and didn't hurt that also Ethiopia is also part of, in this, part of the story. And I'm Ethiopian and you know, I live in Ethiopia. And that was also it's just an added bonus for me. And, I mean, no brainer. Second movie now you've shot in Ethiopia, and also for the two of you, what is it about making a movie in Ethiopia that you could do there that you can't get the same way somewhere else? Oh man, I mean, um, yesterday, I think you brought up the note that uh, so much of the infrastructure and you know the architecture had not had not changed, right. you know, since since between now and the time that the movie is, uh, was, uh, was uh, set. And, yeah. and so just to go in, just to step into the real authenticity of the city. You know, we weren't on uh, built sets. We were in the homes uh, and we were walking in the community uh, with the people. So just to be somewhere um, that we didn't have to recreate, but just to step down and to ha be in a place that was authentic, it really made the, made the story ring, ring, ring true. And it was that, all, all that much more important to, uh, to, to speak truth to that location and to the narrative the story that we were telling. Anything you guys want to add about shooting there? Um, I only shot in Dublin. Oh yeah, that's true. Which is, yeah. a, that's true. Which is a city that I think a lot of people know, so I don't know what I would <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, I've I would, never been to Dublin, yeah. but I'd love to go one I would say it was my night. first time, yeah. it was my first time uh, in Africa, you know, wow. And, wow. and so to have this project be the project that takes me oh, wow. back to Africa, oh, that's you know, lovely. for the first time. Yeah. It, I mean, it was really beautiful. It was really emotional, and I felt a lot of uh, responsibility. But I was also just blessed to be there and to have my art. It be right. something that brings me yeah. to Africa and to Ethiopia specifically. You I know, mean, what I mean, I, I got to tell you, uh, for me, uh, my my wife and was executive producer Moret, bringing an A list crew and cast to Ethiopia, which we've never done before, mm -hmm. um, and having uh, our Ethiopian cast and crew literally be mirroring these guys on location was amazing. I mean, it was great for the country, it was great for us, for the art community, and, and also that, that people seeing that um, other people wanted to hear from us, you know, mm -hmm. other people wanted to, to, to know our history, to know our culture, and I mean... I was, at a, I don't know, a different world for me. Yeah. One of my favorite qualities about the movie is that the main ensemble is filled with characters who, down to their core, are good people going out of their way to do good things awesome. for others. So if you could each pick one quality of your character to keep for yourself, what would it be? Um, for me, is uh, you know, unrequited love for someone who's wounded. I think oftentimes, we uh, we judge people who are wounded because I don't know they rub us the wrong way or whatever. But I realize that if you can truly be compassionate, uh, it brings you closer to yourself. I would say um, Aziz's uh, courage. You know, he 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 had a choice to uh, to to stay and fight or to or to leave and have a better life, and he chose to he chose to stay and, and to fight, likely knowing that that he would not be the person to, 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 to cause the change. But I think he was willing to be, to be a spark 
you know, toward the fire that was necessary. Yeah. You know, I don't know if you met, if you met this guy uh, who came to us at the after party, Ethiopian guy, who actually came on to us and he's seen the film mm -hmm. and said, you, you guys were spot on. He said, I was in Harar at that time. He was in prison. Wow. Right. <clears throat> so he's like, Aziz could have been uh, a character written after my story. Wow. wow. Was, and he talked to Jennifer. He talked to Camilla Gibb, the, the writer. And it was just, I, I literally was like, oh, my God. You know, that was yeah. one of the things that we were, we wanted to connect to. The, and they're still around. There's people that that happened to. Mm -hmm. The survivors are still around. And it's very fresh in their eyes. That's incredible. Yeah. <clears throat> um, another thing that really struck me about the movie is just the idea of making a home. And it doesn't have to be in the traditional sense. You can find it anywhere. So for all three of you, what is one thing that has to be constant no matter where you go when it comes to calling a place home? I mean, it, for me, it's community, the people you surround yourself with. You could be anywhere in the world, but if you're with people you love, that's home for me. I mean, right now... I'm 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 living a very nomadic lifestyle. You know, I don't I don't have an apartment. You know, I have a couple of pieces of luggage. And, and but you know, for me, I get into a place, you know, for for a job, and I open up my suitcase. I put up a picture of my mom and a picture of my dad. Yeah, right. You know, and that makes home for me. So, it, it's really about it's about family. It's yeah, about absolutely. community and, and and being able to connect to someone or to, or to an idea that makes me feel mm -hmm. feel safe and loved. You know, um, you know. We come from an ancient culture, right? And, and that is, in, in so many ways, for me, like going back to Ethiopia after living in the U.S. for 22 years and seeing those elements that I was brought up in, um, you kind of go like, oh, wow. So I, I was able to create that away from home. And the friends that I made uh, at school, at work, you know, playing soccer, that became home. So to me, that was, I think that was the same for, every, for everybody. So that was for me. I don't think there's a better way to end. Those are beautiful answers. Thank you guys so much for sharing Thank you. and for Thank your you. time Thank you. today. Yeah, it's a pleasure. A huge thanks to everybody out there watching this. Please keep an eye out for Sweetness in the Belly and a special thanks to our sponsors at Nordstrom Canada for making these interviews happen. Hey. That's it for this one. We're going to have more from <laughs> TIFF 2019 coming your way real soon.